hiring is something that people should take more responsibility about, I feel. Once you've given the chance and the opportunity to be in a position to hire someone else, you're really in a position of power and a position of opportunity for someone else. So it's nice to be more compassionate and empathetic about the whole process. When you're hiring, it's important to look for certain types of qualities that of course are the technical skills that your organization is looking for, how the person is trained, if they can do what you ask them to do. But it's also important to look at the integrity and the values of the person and their character and see how they will fit in the organization that you have. We have such high unemployment right now. So on an employer's perspective, you have a lot of people to choose from. So you want to choose the best person for your organization. From the interview candidate perspective, you want to put your best foot forward and make sure that you present well and you are authentic in an interview so that you know that if you're hired in this organization, it will work out well. You'd rather do 10 interviews and get hired to one company that you're going to work at for a while than pretend in all the interviews and then get hired and it doesn't work out and then you're unemployed shortly after. So, firstly, from the candidate's perspective, to go for an interview, it's very important that you are prepared and very well informed. I cannot tell you how many people have sat in front of me for an interview and they don't know what job they're interviewing for. They don't know the organization, they don't know what has brought them there, someone just said their interviews. This is not how you get a job. It is very important to do your research. Make sure you know the organization that you're going to be interviewed for. In America, they go as far to tell you as to do an information interview. Ask someone who already works in that organization if you can take them for tea and ask them questions about their work, the culture in the organization, how things get done, what is an achievement, what is success, what are the goals, where is the future of the company, so you understand what the company is doing. So that when you reach that interview, you're so fully prepared and understanding. There's a girl who wrote a whole business idea for Airbnb because she wanted them to hire her and she posted it online. And she got so many retweets and people saw it and eventually they hired her because she had taken the time to understand the business where she saw a gap and showed how she could add value and fill that gap and how they can make more revenue if they do this certain thing. It's so important that you come to interviews prepared. Don't write the same cover letter for every company. I am a dynamic, intelligent, skilled person. Please. You have no proof of that in a cover letter. You have not mentioned the company or the difference or the position or how you're going to add value to the organization. You have to think about it from an employer's perspective. What can you do to make sure that you are the best possible candidate for this job if you want it? Understand the role, understand the organization. Make sure you are prepared for that interview. Think about your strengths, your weaknesses, how you're going to describe your background, how you're going to describe your goals, what value you're going to add to the company. If you have any questions specific about how they do something, because you're also going to work in that company. Don't think the company is doing you a favor to hire you. You're also going to add value. You have to know your own self-worth and also see, do you want to work for this company? Will you fit in this organization? Does it make sense to you? And then you are prepared to go for this interview. If you are unemployed, you have a lot of time. So take the time to be prepared. 